God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, Early in the morning a song shall rise to thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, all thy work shall praise thy name in earth and sky and sea. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Bow down and hear me, Lord. Come to my rescue. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, set me free. Hear me and speedily rescue me. Be a rock of refuge for me a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Release me from the snares they have hidden, for you are my refuge, Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. It is you who will redeem me, Lord. O God of truth, you detest those who worship false and empty gods. As for me, I trust in the Lord. Let me be glad and rejoice in your love. You have seen my affliction and taken heed of my soul's distress. Have not handed me over to the enemy, but set my feet at large. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Bow down and And hear hear me, Lord. Lord. Come Come to to my my rescue. Lord, let the light of your countenance shine on your servant. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in distress. Tears have wasted my eyes, my throat, and my heart. For my life is spent with sorrow and my years with sighs. Affliction has broken down my strength and my bones waste away. In the face of all my foes, I am a reproach, an object of scorn to my neighbors and of fear to my friends. Those who see me in the street run far away from me. I am like a dead man, forgotten, like a thing thrown away. I have heard the slander of the crowd. Fear is all around me, as they plot together against me, as they plan to take my life. But as for me, I trust in you, Lord. I say you are my God. My life is in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of those who hate me. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your love. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Lord, let the light Light of of your your countenance countenance shine on on your servant. Blessed be the Lord, for he has poured out his mercy upon me. How great is the goodness, Lord, that you keep for those who fear you, that you show to those who trust you in the sight of men. You hide them in the shelter of your presence, from the plotting of men. You keep them safe within your tent from disputing tongues. Blessed be the Lord who has shown me the wonders of his love in a fortified city. I am far removed from your sight, I said in my alarm. 
Yet you heard the voice of my plea when I cried for help. Love the Lord, all you saints. He guards his faithful, but the Lord will repay to the full those who act with pride. Be strong, let your heart take courage, all who hope in the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, for, for he, he has poured, poured out his, his mercy upon, upon me. Guide me in the way of your truth, and teach me. For you are my saving God. From the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, Now, Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live, and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. In your observance of the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin upon you, you shall not add to what I command you, nor subtract from it. You have seen with your own eyes what the Lord did at Baal Peor. The Lord, your God, destroyed from your midst everyone that followed the Baal of Peor. But you, who clung to the Lord your God, are all alive today. Therefore, I teach you the statutes and decrees, as the Lord my God has commanded me, that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully. For thus you will give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations, who will hear of all these statutes and say, This great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law which I am setting before you today? Ask now of the days of old, before your time, ever since God created man upon the earth, ask from one end of the sky to the other, did anything so great ever happen before? Was it ever heard of? Did a people ever hear the voice of God speaking from the midst of fire as you did and live? Or did any God venture to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation? by testings, by signs and wonders, by war, with his strong hand and outstretched arm, and by great terrors, all of which the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes. All this you were allowed to see, that you might know the Lord is God and there is no other. Out of the heavens he let you hear his voice to discipline you. On earth he let you see his great fire, and you heard him speaking out of the fire. For love of your fathers, he chose their descendants and personally led you out of Egypt by his great power, driving out of your way nations greater and mightier than you, so as to bring you in and to make their land your heritage as it is today. This is why you must now know and fix in your heart that the Lord is God in the heavens above and on earth below and that there is no other. You must keep his statutes and commandments which I enjoin on you today, that you and your children after you may prosper, and that you may have long life on the land which the Lord your God is giving you forever. Give heed, O Israel, to the commands of the Lord, and inscribe them in your heart as in a book. I will give you a land where milk and honey flow. Listen, my people, to my warning. O Israel, if only you would listen to me. I will give you a land where milk and honey flow. From a letter to the Ephesians by St. Ignatius of Antioch, Bishop and Martyr. Try to gather more frequently to give thanks to God and to praise him. For when you come together frequently, Satan's powers are undermined and the destruction that he threatens is done away with in the unanimity of your faith. Nothing is better than peace 
in which all warfare between heaven and earth is brought to an end. None of this will escape you if you have perfect faith and love toward Jesus Christ. These are the beginning and the end of life, faith the beginning, love the end. When these two are found together, there is God and everything else concerning right living follows from them. No one professing faith sins. No one possessing love hates. A tree is known by its fruit, so those who profess to belong to Christ will be known by what they do. For the work we are about is not a matter of words here and now, but depends on the power of faith and on being found faithful to the end. It is better to remain silent and to be than to talk and not be. Teaching is good if the speaker also acts. Now there was one teacher who spoke and it was made and even what he did in silence is worthy of the Father. He who has the word of Jesus can truly listen also to his silence in order to be perfect, that he may act through his speech and be known by his silence. Nothing is hidden from the Lord, but even our secrets are close to him. Let us then do everything in the knowledge that he is dwelling within us, that we may be his temples, and he, God, within us. He is and will reveal himself in our sight according to the love we bear him in holiness. Make no mistake, my brothers, those who corrupt families will not inherit the kingdom of God, If those who do these things in accordance with the flesh have died, how much worse will it be if one corrupts through evil doctrine the faith of God for which Jesus Christ was crucified? Such a person, because he is defiled, will depart into the unquenchable fire, as will anyone who listens to him. For the Lord received anointing on his head in order that he might breathe incorruptibility on the church. Do not be anointed with the evil odor of the teachings of the prince of this world, that he may not lead you captive away from the life that is set before you. But why is it that we are not all wise when we have received the knowledge of God which is Jesus Christ. Why do we perish in our stupidity, not knowing the gift the Lord has truly sent us? My spirit is given over to the humble service of the cross, which is a stumbling block to unbelievers, but to us, salvation and eternal life. Let everything you say or do be done in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him give thanks to God the Father. Whatever you do, do all for the glory of God. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father of heaven and earth, hear our prayers and show us the way to peace in the world. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.